Alright, now I want to hop into some Boolean operators. As you can see here, we have this, the conditional branch branches, which is like a invented if statement, if you will. And as you can see over here, they have the following operators, which we've seen before. So this is the equals operator, so equals equals. The greater than, so if it's greater than, less than, greater than or equal, less than or equal, and if it's not equal. And that's pretty much the exact same as it works with scripting. So we'll come back up here. And uh, we can make an if statement in here now. And we don't need them anymore. Goody. Yes. So we can do an if statement. And we'll make a local variable. So we'll call it local and we'll make it 34. And local 2 and we'll make this one uh, 50. So if local is greater than local 2 p uh, true nope. true else print out false alright so this is obviously going to be false because 50 is greater than 34 so this will print out false as we're starting. Oh, and I need to call this. False. And now we can do it again. Now we can go if it's not equal to local, it will be true because 34 is obviously not equal to, to 50. So, yeah, it's going to come in here and go, that's true, it's not equal. So next time you see someone on Facebook or a forum doing this, saying not equals, feel free to slap them on the head, because they're doing it wrong. Anyway, what else do we have? Oh, we had greater than or equal to. So, greater than or equal to, local to, so that's going to be false because 34 is not greater and not equal to local to. False. Okay, so let's change them now. Let's make this one 34, and no, we'll keep make a 58. We'll make this one 58 too. Now we'll make this one. Let's make it greater then. And what's going to happen? False. Why? Why is it false? Because 58 is not greater than 58. If it's equal, greater than or equals to, it's true. So, now we'll go less than, and this one will also be false, clearly. But if it's less than or equals to, it's now going to be true. Yeah. Coolly. And that's uh, some Boolean operators. So, now we can do a couple more. We can make local... Nope. 3 equal to 100 and we'll change these up a little bit so 48 stuff so if local is less than or equal to, oh, we'll do greater greater than or equal to oh less and local 3 is hmm less than or equal to local 2 do the following so this is what this is what's happening right now. Just put some brackets around there so it's easier to uh, tell the difference. Basically, it's doing this. If the following is true here, if this is true, and this is true, execute this. Otherwise, if this is true, but this isn't true, then this whole thing is not true. So go down here. True. Alright. So now we'll just uh, change local 3 to something that's higher, so 150. And that'll be false. Great. 
and that's uh, some boolean operators. But you don't have to put in new statements if you don't want to. You can actually make booleans using these operators. So we know we know that boolean can be either true or false, right? But you don't have to assign it that way. I can literally go do a boolean and go local greater than equal to uh, local two. Spell it right, local two. And then I can uh, message box underscore p the boolean, and I did not check what two variables were, so I don't know yet. False. Okay. And that's how you can assign a boolean that way, or use an if statement. See, so an if statement can be done on its own. You can have if if something is true, then execute the next line of code. Alright, so you can you can even have numbers in here. You can have uh, if 11 is greater than 10, and this will because that's true, it will do its job. Or you can even have a local is greater than 10, which it is. The execute next line of code. See, so you don't exactly need to have a variable compared to a variable or anything. But we can also do local greater than 10 equal to boolean. Now this one might get a little bit complex, but it works like this. Local greater than 10, true, because local is 58, which is greater than 10. And so since this is true, equal equal to boolean. Now boolean here is local greater than or equal to, that's false. So this is false and that's true, so this is not equal. True is not equal equal to false, so don't execute this. Yeah. Alright, now let's go over the OR operator. So as we saw before, we can have boolean and something else. We can have boolean something if that if they're both true, so equal equal to true. Space. And something's equal equal to true. Do the following. But what if we wanted to do something and these don't both have to be true? What if we only want one of them to be true for it to be necessary to do this? Well, get rid of the AND and put in two pipe signs. This is the key just above your enter key in your keyboard. So two pipe signs means if boolean is equal equal to true or something is equal equal to true. Statement was true. So statement was true. Alright, so we'll make boolean here equal false, which it already is anyway. So boolean is going to equal false because local is not greater than 148. So this is going to be false here. So boolean equal equal true. Nope, not happening. But something on the other hand, we'll make it false for the moment. Equal false. Play the game. Nothing happens. So now we'll make it equal to true. And okay. Play. Statement was true. Right, so boolean or boolean is equal to true or something is equal to true, or we can do the following: and something, or something two is equal to true. Make it false for now. Uh, something two equal true, and here's what here's what's going to happen. So this has to be true and this has to be true for this one here so we'll just put brackets around it you don't have to but I like to do it anyway so it's a little more clearer so if this is this has to be true and this has to be true for this whole thing here to be true right and if this is true then it doesn't care about this so we'll just execute this line but if this isn't true then I'll also check this because of the pipe science so something 2 is equal to true then print this Give it a whirl. Cool. And yeah, that's pretty much building operators in a nutshell.